everybody. I hope you're doing good today. So I'm Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I'm going to show you today what I'm going to be listing this week. So I done something radical. I have changed my business a little bit. I'm going to actually do a video for next Saturday and maybe a few Saturdays after that. It's no hauls and all about uh, how I run my business and the changes that I'm making. But the first thing that happened to me is I listed everything in my death pile and I didn't have a death pile anymore. And I haven't been going to the bins. I've been trying to go to thrift stores and get more mall brands instead of style based. You'll still see some style based pickups in here today, but I have been trying to get some better brands in my closet to see if my sales will increase naturally for that. And I have to be honest with you, not so sure about it yet. I'm going to give it time though, because you know, you've got to give it 30, 60, 90 days before you're really going to see, you know, a change in your business. But today I'm going to show you everything I got to sell. I'll tell you where I got it and basically why I got it, sizes and all those details. Okay, so the first item I got, I got at the Goodwill and it just says, it's a little t-shirt, it says Hippie Soul on it. And I am thinking about, like how I always do, I wanna turn this into a festival shirt, but different. So I am going to go back into also making my hippie clothes and I'm gonna turn this into like a hippie shirt for summer. So instead of putting it on a flannel, like I do in the winter, I'm gonna give it bat wings and make it really hippie. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. The second thing I actually found in my stash, you guys, and I wanna go ahead and list it. It is so cute. It is a faux calf hair, true vintage. I think that we looked at the brand on this and it was like from 1980s. So Christine Clark is the name brand. It is just a little itty bitty purse with a snap closure. This right here is for your keys. And then we have like the trim and then the rope detail. I just thought it was super cute. I think I got that in the bins last year. Just now getting around to listing it. So a few things that you're going to see me pull out here. I'm actually going to show you this and I'm going to crawl into my bags because that's where the exciting stuff is. But this is from a liquidation lot that I had up for sale two years ago, you guys. And I boxed it up. And when I ran out of my death pile, I went to my tubs, like that death pile I don't want to necessarily list. Or maybe I had it listed and it didn't sell. But this is Liz Claiborne and it is brand new with tag. And I'm noticing, like I said in a few of my videos, the longer type of shirts are selling well. So there's the new with tag. It was a JCPenney's liquidation I had bought from B&G Trading when they was open. So I'm gonna go ahead and relist it. Okay, so let me grab one of my bags from Goodwill. So this actually came from today's trip. So I haven't been picking up Torg quite as much, and I definitely haven't been picking up <laughs> tie-dye either. But today, I decided to do both. Pick up Torg that was tie-dye, but this is why. It's a sweater, it's a lightweight sweater. It's very coastal grandma looking. So I feel like no matter what brand it is, maybe it's very like summer friendly, right? Because it's got this dolman sleeve. It's super lightweight. It's a tie-dye, but it's like, like that last dress I told you. It's not like tie-dye splurts all over. So it's like more controlled, it's striped. So I thought that that was a little bit better. So I got this at my Goodwill today and it is a Torrid size two. So I think that's a two X, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I got this little shirt today at the Goodwill. It is a Sublime shirt, so what I will do is put it up for sale as is. I'm not gonna take it apart quite yet because I really like the sleeve on it. So it says Sublime down the sleeve. It's been cropped. It does need to be steamed. It is a size small. You guys, I've noticed since I've been going into Goodwill and thrift stores more that um, the smaller sizes the reason I like think a lot of us sell the smaller sizes is because that is where the better brands are at. So I'm, it's kind of perturbing me a little bit. It's like, why can I not find extra large and extra, extra large great brands? Is it because, because I'm plus size, so don't get me wrong, but is it because when we have a plus size that we wear our, because it's so hard to find such cute fashion, we don't donate it. I really don't know. But I, I'm beginning to like kind of pay closer attention to that. Like at the bins, I always assumed it's because Goodwill couldn't sell it, you know. But the truth of the matter is, maybe it's just because 
It's so much easier to find really trendy clothes in smaller sizes, so that's why we see them. So I have actually been going through extra small and small every single time I go to Goodwill to find good brands. So I just want to give you that helpful tent, hint. And this is J. Crew. It is a size large. The reason I bought it is because, not because it is cheetah print, but it is like a blazer jacket that's a sweater. It has pockets. It's more substantial. I only pick up substantial J. Crew unless it comes like in a liquidation lot or something. And again, this is J. Crew and it's J. Crew Factory. So there's that. And I got it at my local Goodwill today. This is intro, and I always pick up intro tops if they're special in some way. I really thought this one was really pretty. It's a size large too, which is great. But look at this gorgeous bohemian top. So it's like a proper blouse material, so it's gonna lay and flow beautifully. It has gold tone. Oh no, I take that back. I thought it was gold tone looking in the camera, but it's actually like a light wood tone. And it's a size large in this beautiful forest green collar also has like the little ruffle trim along the neckline okay this is another one I'm going to turn into one of those I'm either going to turn this into a t-shirt dress or I'm going to turn it into my little t-shirt idea hopefully that doesn't peel that off and it just says fearless on it and I might put female on here so I might have my husband airbrush the word female on it and it's a size medium Okay. The next item is beautiful. It's towel or Chico's, not towel, but Chico's size two. I still don't know what size that is. It looks like it's an extra large to me. I'm an extra large and it goes across, but it might be a large or even a medium for that matter. I'll look it up like I always do, but it is this beautiful lilac kind of pink color tunic with exaggerated eyelet lace. It needs to be steamed, but other than that, it's in excellent condition and it's a really pretty purple color. Not coming off quite as well on the camera because that's how cameras do. Okay, let's get another bag up here. This was from Goodwill yesterday. So I told you guys I sold out of my death pile. Oh my goodness. My husband tied this for me to carry it in. Let me get my scissors. It's a knot that I'm not going to be getting out anytime soon. You guys don't want to hear this bag rattle. Guys, I found something good today. I mean, like, not like, you know, Gucci good. But for my store, <laughs> for my Goodwills, it was good. I was excited. Okay, so I picked this up because it's a plus size. It's 3X. It's a Philia Row. But look at how cute it is. It's a sunny yellow color. Then it has, like, Swiss dots that, like, have, like, the little palms on it. It's balloon sleeve, very bohemian, which is very much my summer theme. I saw a lot of bohemian tops, you guys. The next item, this is so nice. This is a size Chico's one. So I can't really explain what this fabric is, but it's like the softest micro suede suede. It is stretchy. I really don't know what it is, but it is luxe. But look at this detail. Let me get this up here. Isn't that pretty though? like the laser cut out. And then if you can get, if I get real close, you'll see it's got like some metallic ribbon or lace here at the, on the inside. It is a really pretty piece. It's like a peachy pink collar. Again, it's a Chico's size one, and that is a substantial piece. And that's what I pick up with Chico's. I got this, I know it's a flannel, but remember I do festival flannels, but I got it cause it was a two X and look how fun it is. I like how it has like different sleeves. It's also a popover that's kind of like a oversized fit on the top of it being a 2X. A lot of times in plus size, that is also a hard trend to find. Something that they feel is oversized for plus size. It's really some crap, you guys. Because I, what I do is I usually just have to buy a size up, to be honest. Get my oversized vibe going. Okay. This is a Talbot. It is a Talbot size 3X, and that's why I picked it up. And it's also a cute little bohemian top. It needs to be steamed, but it is almost like new. It's in excellent condition. It's got a nice wide balloon sleeve, so there's a little button cuff on it. And then there's like a little keyhole button on the back. But again, I picked it up. First of all, I pick up Talbots and Chico's if it's substantial or there's a reason for it. And if it's plus size, that makes it even better. Okay, so here we have another Chico's piece is 100% linen. It's a size three. 
So I would say that's extra large to 2X, and it looks very bad on camera, honestly, because it looks so washed out. Let me see if I can get it. Nope, it is a beautiful mint green collar, you guys, and it's linen, and it's a good size. Being a size three, and I can tell it's like an oversized, kind of like boyfriend fit, so, so cute. Okay, I got this, it's UMG. I got it, all these are, are from Goodwill. So I got this, it is brand new, a tag. It's a size large. I think it's a mini dress, but they had it in top. So bonus, because our dresses are $8, so I never buy them. But look at the super cute ruffle sleeve. So there's a double tier ruffle. And then it's like a little semi sheer mini dress. So super, super cute. And the fact that it's brand new, a tag. I definitely got it. And um, she sells well for me. Now, honestly, it's their bigger sweaters or funky stuff. like more elaborate that normally sells but because that was new a tag i felt like it was a go okay you guys this is no name brand and i didn't even care it is a size let's see what they say here one size is what it says so i would say so i would say this would fit up to a 2x it is so pretty it's gonna be so hard to show what i do with my my hanger you guys so I keep this here, even though it's not, it's going to be another one of those ones, just like the last show. It's not what I want to say on the hanger. So look at how pretty the collars are. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. But look here, look, it's long, like all the way to the ground, maxi length, just a really pretty print, semi sheer, semi sheer is in fashion, but I sell a lot of those cam or kimonos every single year. You guys, I got this based on style, but it's also not a bad brand. It's mustard seed. I think sometimes it's sold at Anthropology, but I'm not sure if this one is. But look at this big oversized poet top. Look at the sleeves on this. And it is silky. Like, it feels like silk. I don't think it is. It's probably polyester because it fools me every time. But let's take a peek just to see because it feels like raw silk. But being the brand it is, yeah, 100% polyester. I assumed it was polyester. But it's just a really pretty neutral piece, very flowy, very bohemian, very romantic, hippie, all those keywords. I got this today based on style. The name brand is Ultra Pink. It's a size large, but I sell a lot of these skirts, you guys. First of all, crocheted skirts are not necessarily easy to find. Look at the ombre. It is like a tiered skirt. It has, this is like, like crochet lace, all different kind of styles of crochet lace. It has an elastic waist, but it also has a drawstring tie on it that has little tassels. Super cute for summer. And then I got something that almost matches that. It's another LuLaRoe piece. People got mad. And you know what? I said on my last show, I wouldn't pick up LuLaRoe at Goodwill, but I did. Because I saw this and I was like, man, that is just so cool. They had one in green too, and it just looked too much like a 1970s robe. It really was not aesthetically pleasing because of the collar. But this one was really pretty collar, okay? See how it shimmers, it's so soft. It is maxi length, so it goes all the way down to the, almost to the ground, not quite, which is good. But I looked this up and you guys, people have been selling these for around 30 to $40. Now, not always, because you know, you have to keep in mind when you do comps, there's people out there that maybe have something like this and they kind of get stuck with it, right? For whatever reason, maybe they don't have a good description, a good title, um, whatever. And some people have been selling it for like $19. But there's a good amount of people on eBay that's been selling them for much more. So I'm going to price mine up a little bit higher and we'll see what happens. All right, you guys, I have two really good pieces. Now, one is kind of, I'm not 100% on, okay? Like, I'll show it to you first. I done a Google screenshot, okay? Use Google, Google image to find this piece because I knew the brand and the brand has... This weird, like, you, it can sell for $30 or it can sell for $400. I knew that. And usually it's their silk tops that sell for more. And the rarer the print, the more they sell for. So, List, L-S-Y-T, had this as the last one that they seen sold. 
was $498. Now, do I think I'm going to sell it for that? Absolutely nowhere close. I don't think that's 100% accurate. And there's no others that I found for sale in this print. So the brand name is Zadig and Voltaire. Let me get it up there and show you guys. Okay. And it's the print. And it's 100% silk. So it's got little skulls. And it's semi-sheer. So I'm expecting I'm probably going to be able to list this for around $65 to $70. I'm going to do a little bit more research. I don't even care if it's $30 or $40. It's really a cool top. It's 100% silk. And it has little skull prints. Come on now. That's cool. Then I was super excited. I... I don't ever really look at basics, but I look at the tags of everything. I don't usually buy basics. This hair, you guys, every time my hair is a mess. But let me tell you why today it is. So, I just shipped out 90 orders from Poshmark. 90, like, 90 items, I should say. Not 90 individual orders, because a lot of them were bundles. I have been doing some auctions on things that, like, I've gotten in... Thread up boxes, family members, maybe I put it up for sale and it didn't sell and I was kind of iffy about it then or maybe I've had it for two or three years and it's been sitting in a tub and I just haven't gotten around to donating or I took it to Plato's closet and they denied it and I have like eight tubs of that stuff. And so I've been going through and auctioning it off instead of donating it, you guys, and it's been going great. So I'm clearing out my space while making some money, good money too. But boy, it's, it wore me out today. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot, a lot of work. First of all, the auctions was a lot of work. Cleaning up after it is a lot of work. And then the packaging, my husband helped me and we were both wore out at the end. But what I found today, when I touched it, I knew it was good. I was so excited. So it's this little button up. And it is kind of like a purpley blue and white stripe. It's kind of coming off gray. But it's not. And it's gorgeous. And look what it is, you guys. Rails at my Goodwill in my little town. Rails, size medium. And you guys, it is such a nice, nice quality. I have never even felt a Rails. Now I know what all the hype is about because it's super nice. Okay, this is my last day Goodwill bag. Then we'll look through the tub over here. Okay, I got this. It is Dixon Flannel Company, the mom, but I don't even know. I knew I could turn it into, a, you know, a festival flannel next year if I wanted to. But I'm going to do my comps on this because it looks like it is really, like, high end. It is a bright, bright yellow and purple. And we have a school near us that's these colors, so I can only imagine that's probably what it was from Central High School. Like, you know, they're, they're school colors. I can only imagine that somebody probably wore that because of that. And boy, that is perfect for that. But it is a really nice flannel. So hopefully it's going to comp really good. And if not, it'll be a festival flannel. So here's a little style base pickup. And I put it in the cart. And then I put it on the rack. And then I went back and put it in the cart. And then I put it on the rack. And then I put it back in the cart. Because it's just cute. It's Angela or Angel... Angelie, maybe angel, oh, angels, maybe, I can't tell, and Ricky. It's a size extra large. It is a nice piece, like, you know, the texture of it, the quality of the, of the stitching, you know, all those details are nice. It's not a fast fashion, but I don't know what that brand is, but look at it. It is a kimono, so it's got a sleeve on it. It has this fringe. Oh, my goodness, the fringe sold it for me. It's so cute, but then, of course, you guys know me. I'm a boho girl in this aztec -y bohemian print, and the curtains that I'm still looking for, by the way, Something like this in cream and black, I need. I can't find, but I thought it was pretty, so I decided to get it. This is something I thought I will try to sell. If not, I'm gonna save it for me until next year. I'm just not sure that I can wear it. Sometimes big, bulky, long sweatshirts with cow necks, it's just like, I feel claustrophobic. So I just don't, I don't always wear them, but man, I really dug this one. So we're, I'm going to give it a try if I don't sell it. So it's a super cute piece. It's the brand name Audi. I talked about that in my last video, how this brand is selling a little bit better now, like kind of quickly, right? And for like around $25 to $30. So would I normally pick this up if it was only if it was a really special piece? But I love like the sweater texture. And then it's got like that raw kind of detail. It's got a nice big cow neck. It's contrasting. So it's like this kind of like staticky look. And then look at the like big wide 
like ribbed hem on the bottom and it's super long like you guys can probably tell from how i'm holding it up and it is nice it feels really nice and it is a size extra large so if it doesn't sell i'll be claiming it and then i'll be trying it on and eventually maybe i will be selling it again <laughs> You guys, I got this to make one of my little shirts with. I thought it was so cute. It says, Lard Have Mercy. L-A-R-D. Lard Have Mercy. And look at the cute little piggy on there. So that's something I got going for me here in Indiana. We have a lot of farm stuff, right? I'm going to start picking it up and turn it into festival stuff. So it's a size extra large. It's like that really soft type of fabric. I just thought the little wording and the pig was so cute. Let me put my... Reaching over to grab my flannel. I have it on my my light cord. You guys are going to see a light come plummeting into my face. Okay, you guys, I got this, again, maybe for myself, maybe to sell. It's Old Navy. And, again, that is a brand I definitely, like, I got two pieces of Old Navy. I was like a rebel today. I don't normally pick up that brand at Goodwill because, you know, it doesn't have a high resale value. But just based on style, what does this look like? It's bohemian, you guys, and it's Aztec, and I paid $4.50 for it, and it's my size, so if it doesn't sell, I will claim it and for sure wear this one. But it has this really neat print on it. It's a navy blue. It has a boat neck. It's like a modern take on a sweatshirt. Super cute. Size extra large. And then if that wasn't enough... I was a rebel a second time and I got a second Old Navy piece, but it's substantial. And you guys, Old Navy, not, I know their graphic tees and certain things are cheap, like they're not necessarily cheaply made, maybe, I don't know, I don't really buy those. But some of their items in their store, when you go in there, because I buy my grandkids a lot of clothes from Old Navy, they withstand toddlers, right? So I go in there and I'll like see a dress or something like I want to look at, like I like it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that is $88. That is, you know, $70. What in the world? Even their kids clothes sometimes are like $30 for a little jacket. So Old Navy is not cheap. So I don't know why we dismiss it. And it's a nice quality. But look at this duster sweater. It is super long. It's a pale pink kind of lavender color. And then these are like little lavender speckles. It is so pretty. Pretty. It's got that dolman sleeve that I love. It's a size extra large, which is my size. And I probably need another hundred sweaters since I only, I went through my closet today, you guys. I, I'm, I was thinking about going minimalist. <laughs> and I went through my sweaters. And I have 72. 72 sweaters. What is wrong with me? I don't need another sweater. I definitely don't. I took a lot of them out that I'll be putting up to sell for next year. Because, you know, as a reseller, we get these things so cheap. Like, you know, come on. Some people will go out and get a free people sweater for $180. Well, for $5 each at the Goodwill, I can have a lot more than that, right? And especially if I get it at the bins. Guys, I don't know anything about this brand. It's probably, I don't know. It's called, Paparazzi is the brand name. I know that that's like, you know, a thing. And it is a, let's see here, a size medium. I just thought it was just a super cute quirky. Let me button the last button, you guys. I actually done the buttons right today. Aren't you proud of me? I got it because it's quirky and it's cute. And it's like a little lightweight jacket. Perfect for spring or summer or even fall and winter if you want to. It is so cute. Wait for it, okay? So we have like the tweed kind of wool vibe going on, almost like made out of like suit is what it looks like. But look, each button is different. So look at that. Isn't that so cute? I loved it. And it's long and it's cute and it's all the things. And here's the back, okay? I just thought it was very interesting. Very hippie bohemian, which is 100% my vibe. And a lot of what I sell, and I'm never gonna get away from that, because I built a customer base and do quite well with it. So why would I, right? But I am trying to pick up more mall brands or more like Chico's, Talbot's, uh, Michael Kors. I know that's controversial too, but it's been selling well for me. Um, Calvin Klein, if it's the right thing. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other brands that I've been picking up. I've been finding a lot more anthropology and free people. I honestly pass on most free people unless it's um, a substantial piece. Because for me, it just sits and sits and sits. I do any time I find a sweater, I'm grabbing that sweater. Heck yeah, I am. But I'm um, like little basic shirts or we the free. I just don't pick it up. 
unless it's at the bins. And I really don't find it at the bins. This is Chico's, but look how stinking Southwestern cute it is. So this is kind of like a tapestry style. You know those like poncho things you can get in Mexico. What are they called? I don't even know. But that's kind of like the material that's in here. But it's a denim jacket. So really very cute. Bohemian once again. Look at the back. Look at like it has beading and like different kind of little designs on it. Even the back of the collar is super cute. Good gosh. Even the tag is cute. Look at that tag. Chico's tag. And it is a size. And this says something on it that I cannot read. That's super cool. From 1983 is what it says. And it's a size one. So a vintage piece. But I loved it. So I got it. And I paid up a little bit for that one. I paid $7.99 for that one. Okay, let me go through this right here, you guys. Some of this is stuff that I pulled for auction that I felt like it was like worthy of trying to sell. Um, it was like in my bins of, mm, I didn't sell it, so whatever, I kind of moved on from it. But let me show you a few pieces. This is a Filia Rue. It is a size 2X, so I feel like it's worth trying. This is super cute. It is just the brand name Shine Star. It's a size large, but it looks like faux linen, right? It's almost like what a suit's made out of. So I'm going to go ahead and list that because I can imagine somebody thinking that's super cute. I got these boots and I've been wanting to buy some leather cleaner, but I'm going to completely get out of shoes. I don't find good shoes. I hate to store them. If I find something like Fry Boots or Free People or, you know, the good stuff, well, I pick it up. Absolutely. Just like these boots are good, a good brand. But I just have not gotten around to getting the leather cleaner. So I'm going to list them just the way they are. These are Ariat. And they are or Ariat. I don't really know how to pronounce that. I didn't in the last video either because I got jeans. I can't see. Sorry, you guys. I have diabetes and I've been sick for two days and I just done all that packaging. So when that happens, my eyes kind of go out a little bit and so I can't see what size they are. But they're just a super cute, very well made pair of boots. And I hope, oh, I, I hope they're going to sell just the way they are. They are mad. They're like, you better put leather cleaner on us, lady. We're going to take out your camera. And they're super heavy. Okay, this is really wrinkly. It is Lane Bryant. I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not already. I don't think so. Lane Bryant, a really long, kind of like lag and look style, crazy top. It's asymmetrical hem. It has like a roll tab sleeve. So the roll tab is in there, right? There's the little snap. It's just like kind of this funky piece. I thought it was different. It's a size 26, 28. So I like to have good sizes in my closet, you know, various sizes in my closet. So I picked it up. You guys, I found this and I was perplexed on whether to get it to be quite honest, but I went ahead and done it. I paid $5.99. Again, I paid $5.99 for St. John. While they went $9.99 for Adidas and pink. Victoria's Secret, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad that they don't know everything. Why am I not mad? Because it gives us an opportunity as resellers to still flip and make a living. And, you know, that's a good thing. So I picked this up because it was St. John. The only thing is, is this button here kind of up tall is missing. So what I'm going to do, like I always do, is I'm going to take the bottom button. I'm going to put it up here because the bottom button is less important. I will then uh, you know, let them know, but even look like the little details, like the inside, isn't that cute? And it is leather. It's a size large. It's probably lambskin, actually. Let me look here real quick. No, it just says leather. It feels like lambskin. Being that it's St. John, it probably is. So this will probably sell for 60 or $70. You know, that's not like outrageous amount, but it's a lot better than what I, my, uh, I usually get it Goodwill, right? Like usually I'm probably selling things for like $24 to $35 once we do a discount. So I feel like that's good. I found, you guys, I found two flaxes and I put one back. It was so heartbreaking because flax used to be so good. And they're not as great as they used to be, but they're not horrible. But it was wore out, but this one was in good shape. So it's this little tan linen tunic top flax if you don't know what that is it is a lag and look brand and on their tag wherever it is it usually has like a little uh 
a little like saying this one there it is see the little saying on it you guys it says i am considerate of others it's a size small you guys an oversized small for sure okay what are we this is good where's my hanger oh lord have mercy lori ann where's your hanger I was doing a show, you guys, and I'm going to tell you this little bit of a story. I was doing a show, and the same thing happened to me with the measuring tape. Two things, right back to back, actually. Couldn't find my measuring tape. I eventually did. It had, like, you know, fallen underneath an item that didn't sell. And I was, as I was, whether I was selling it or not selling it, if I wasn't selling it, I was putting it in piles. Like, okay, you're going to go to Play-Doh's. You're going to go, and I'm going to list you, or you're going to go right back into the auction cycle. And I had a lady that... um she, she bid on a, sh a shirt, and this is happening a little bit on Poshmark, and it's in, it's in beta. Stuff's going to happen. I, lo I love the lives. I want them to fix all the issues, especially other people not making sales because of them, if that's what's happening. But in any case, she bid on a shirt, and I actually screen record everything because of this reason, because I put up numbers. I don't put up, like, on my mystery items. I don't go through and put the brand names and stuff. If I'm selling them for inexpensive, I'm not going to go through all that work. And she said, I didn't bid on this. I got something I didn't want. And I said to her, I was like, well, I screen recorded. Let me rewatch it and make sure I didn't make a mistake. So I did, and it was what she bid on. And it was the same size as all the rest of the items that she bought, right? And she came up and she said, well, I know you was having a lot of trouble with your show. I mean, because you misplaced an item. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's those times when you take a deep breath as a seller and you're like, did she just get rude with me? That was so rude because you know what? I didn't misplace an item. I threw it over in a pile and then 20 minutes later, someone decided they wanted it. So I had to figure out which pile it was in. That was all it was. And my measuring tape getting lost underneath the sweater. Come on now. So now I'm sitting here doing the same thing with the hanger. It makes me all self-conscious. And that's really ridiculous. But you guys, look at it. It is Athleta. But look, it's got my favorite drop. Kind of like waterfall hem. It's so nice. It's a little sweater cover-up. It's Athleta size small. So if you guys have that kind of issue, right? You let a seller get to you. Don't let it get to you. Just remember maybe they're having a, their own bad day and they're taking it out on you. And maybe she, maybe, who knows, there is a glitch and she didn't think that she ordered that top. But it kind of seems like she did, right? She ordered seven things. They were all size large and it was a size large and it showed on my video that she bid on it, her name. So I don't know. But nonetheless, she tried to get a little bit catty and play a blame game. And I told her that I would send her a new item. I would do whatever we needed to do. She didn't need to try to blame me for losing an item earlier in the show that I didn't actually lose. Come on now. You guys look. So I've been picking up Jay Gilmore. And I'm actually falling in love with it from me. I actually found a piece that you guys saw in a haul. And I kept it. I kept it. I never keep anything, but it is so buttery soft. But this is a really nice lag and look very zen, minimalist, coastal grandma vibe. It is a red oak mill sweater. It is also in a good size. It's a size medium, but it's way oversized. Like, I'm an extra large. I tried this on. I was considering, of course I was considering keeping it. It's a sweater. But I decided I didn't need any more sweaters. I need more sweaters, but I don't need any more sweaters. And it's getting ready to be warm out, right? Okay, you guys, I got this based on style. It's Blue Pepper. It's a little boutique brand. I don't know exactly where it's sold. Maybe Kohl's. Maybe, I don't know. But I got it because, look, it's one of my shirts that I always pick up. It's just like that one that was earlier in a different color. Not the same brand. Big balloon sleeves. It's like the satiny silky. It's a gorgeous cocoa color. Love like the tie, love all the things about it. And it is a size medium, if I didn't tell you. And new a tag. That sealed the deal. I probably would have got it even if it wasn't new a tag because it looks like it's in new condition. All right, I've got a few more pieces I'm gonna show you guys and then we'll wrap it up for this time. So this is, I found another smart wool piece. Yay, smart wool in my Goodwill. I probably need to start shopping more often there. I need to give it a better chance because I've always downed them that they don't have good brands. And look at all what I'm finding. Some of it's still style-based. But girl, I found Rails and Smart Wool and St. John. Shut up, Lori. That was all in the same day. It is an extra small, but I'm not going to be mad about it. It's like a striped uh, little base layer. 
and maybe it won't sell right now or maybe it will. You guys, I picked this up um, at Goodwill and I don't, I just told you I don't do this, but I done it. I done it because I don't know why. It's not even free people. It's we the free. There's something about the thermals that just get me every time. That's what it is. They sucker me in. But look at it. It's cute. It's a wine collar. It's waffle knit. It's got the like raw trim hem, whatever you want to call that. Um, I need to figure out what that's called. I've had somebody say it to me. I was like, oh yeah, that's what it is. And then it like went in one ear and right out the other. But look at the back. Isn't that precious? It's got like a little ruffle and like, again, like the raw seaming. So it got me, it was $5. I don't know if it's gonna sell or not. I just flipped something up on my face. You guys, this was so pretty. What brand is it? Zara Woman. I usually don't pick up Zara unless it's super special. I felt like this was a super special piece. Look at it. Isn't that so freaking pretty? It is a size small and I love it. I was so excited when I found it because it's like, <laughs> that was my size. I'd want it. You guys, I picked this up. I, it was a substantial Harley Davidson piece. I don't pick up much Harley Davidson, especially the t-shirts. For me, they don't sell. I did pick one up at the bins not too long ago and I thought, well, I can turn it into a festival piece. But look at the shiny beading, but wait for the back. Wow, all that is like beading. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has fringe, look at it. I mean, it's so awesome. If my husband still had his Harley and we went to those things still, I'd probably keep that too. But girl, let me tell you, let me tell you guys about my experience with Harley Davidson. I would go out on his Harley with him. Now this is when we was much younger. And around town, it would be fine. I didn't love it, but he loved it so, and I loved him, so I done it. But I went to a biker fest with him in Chillicothe, Ohio, and it's about, I don't know, probably about two and a half hours away, and he had a hardtail. First of all, if any of you know what that means, it means that it has no dang shocks on it, and then he went over a chuck hole and something stuck, and so it was like riding iron all the way there. I walked like a cowboy for two days. I don't ever want to experience that again. Okay, I got this for $4 at like a local liquidation company. I don't even know anything about the brand. It's a, the brand Evans, it's brand new with tag, but it is a plus size, beautiful pink coat that will be perfect for spring. So I'm excited to list that one. And I've got a few more things I'm gonna show you guys. Let's see, let me see here. I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna end it, you guys. So I got this also for $4 at that liquidation company. It's who, what, where. But don't knock it before you try to sell these dresses, you guys. I just had a Target collab, Kiki Vargas, that sold for $45 on Macari. And two days after I listed it, I paid $4 for it. I have another one I haven't listed yet. I'm so excited. So this is who, what, where. It is a size extra small, but it's way oversized. So definitely a small could wear it. And it is one of those peasant dresses that either you hate or you love. But I love like the ruffle on it. It's like a subtle collar. It's cream and kind of like a peachy with tan. And then it has a gigantic ruffle on the bottom. So I picked it up because it was $4. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying these hauls. Next week, I'm going to talk about my inventory system and some things that I am changing with my business. So I feel like that hauls are super fun and I'm still going to do them. But I'm going to just kind of do something a little bit different that may be a little bit more helpful for my fellow resellers. The kind of like so we can collab grow our business and learn together. All right, you guys. Bye.